Hello YouTube. Hello Facebook. Happy Friday, everybody. I think we're doing pretty good. I'm looking for myself on another device. Say hello when you get here. Happy Friday, everybody. This week flew by for me. Got video number three out of five in our series, our Carnival Treats series today. It's a really fun project. It's a little pencil sleeve here. I love this guy. Oh, <laughs> I love this guy. This little treat wrapper is perfect for pens or pencils of any kind, any theme, and also really good for giving a nail file. So there's our project. It's three in the series. We've done Sprinkled with Love, the card, and we've done the little donut box. We did that one yesterday. Check out kitchentablestamper.com for these projects. Today we'll make our pencil sleeve. I'll be back next Friday with You Brighten My Days. And then next Thursday, not next Thursday, the Thursday after next with Love. And this will be our Thursday challenge. So this was yesterday's challenge two Thursdays from now will be this box. All right, so that's our lineup here of carnival treats. I'm still having trouble finding myself over here. Let's see, let's get serious about this. There we go. I found me on Facebook, that's good. Let's see if I can find me on YouTube. There we go, I think it got me on both. Hey Nancy, happy Friday, happy Friday Lori. There we go. All right, let's see, what are we doing over here? There we go, I think I got everybody, good. Now we can get started. All right, so this is our Carnival Treats series, and this is the stamps that we're featuring. Let's clear these guys away. If you haven't seen this one, it is a Stampin' Up! host exclusive. You can not buy this one, but you can redeem it with host rewards. So any order $150 or more, whether it's just you or you and a couple friends, um, earns Stampin' Rewards. Those rewards can be redeemed for item number 162937. I love this stamp set. This is while well supplies last. It is on the last chance list. And I'm gonna pair it up with Bright Skies for the sentiments. I just loved this font and you brighten my days. We're gonna I'm going to show you how to modify that so that you can use it either way. You brighten my days or you brighten my cloudy days. And sprinkled with love, I thought were perfect with the carnival treats. So that's our stamps. And we're going to make a really simple, cute um, project here. I got these pencils on Amazon. Let me show you. I've got a link to them. They're currently unavailable. I hope they come back, but they're really cute. Perfect with the carnival treats. Um, yesterday we did the little donut erasers. Those are also from Amazon. And those are linked. These are perfect treats for that carnival treats stamp set if you like to make treats. Um, and then I also found cotton candy double bubble. That's what's in the box. Um, for video number five in the series is this cotton candy, sleeve of cotton candy bubble gum. All right, so that's our, hey, Verna Lynn, how are you? From Grand Junction, Colorado. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. Nancy shared, thank you, Nancy. When you guys share, it really does help the channel. You know what else helps the channel? Subscribing, um, get that bell for notifications. 
Um, if you're on Facebook and you're watching, then um, follow the page, like the page. Those things help so much. When you share, like, follow, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, it really does help the channel. Those are all free ways that you can help the channel. My um, Amazon links are affiliate links. If you just start shopping on Amazon for whatever you're looking for from one of those links, it's another way that's, you know, if you're going to shop Amazon anyways, it's a free to you way that you can support the channel. So check out the products if you're looking, but you can always just start shopping from one of those links. Um, let's see here. I think we're going to start with our stamping today. We're going to make this little popcorn bucket using this adorable image from the carnival treats. So that's where we'll start today. Ah, thank you for sharing, Kay. I'm so glad you're here. Hello, happy Friday, you guys. Happy Friday, Dolores. Dolores says, off work today. I have an order pending so I can get the stamp set. Another great project from Marissa Alvarez. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying these, these projects, this series. This one I really love because of its versatility. And so I'm going to open a second challenge on the craft social uh, this week. So if you guys don't know the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social, let me just go over there really quick. Um, our little home on Facebook is called the Craft Social. It's facebook.com slash groups slash Kitchen Table Stamper. And it really is, it's a, it's a fun community. We've got some great um, stampers who love to share their really encouraging group of people um, we have a challenge every week this week I think we're gonna have two because I want to see you guys play with this uh, idea this pencil sleeve pencils pens nail files so lots of things that come in great themed um, I don't know uh, you can buy scented pencils and the topper the pencil toppers and the different pens and stationery there's so much great stuff out there and then nail files come printed for all occasions and seasons and taste so they're really great things and then besides that i'd love to know what else fits i've done honey sticks in these also so that was a good um a good find so we're gonna we're gonna have a second challenge this week so there will be two challenges one is yesterday's donut box now, I've got the three little donut erasers in there, but this fits for Dove Promises. We wanna see you make this little box and show us what else fits. And same with this. So those two projects, we're gonna have two challenges this week, two um, opportunities for prize patrol. So we'll be giving away four prizes next week for the this week's challenges. Here, let me show you really quick here. I'm going to, yep, that's what I wanna share. I'm going to share you guys the craft social in case you have never seen the craft social before. You want to check it out. Let me see. Oh, I got to pull it up above this. There we go. <laughs> All right. So this is our group on Facebook. We have got um, 7,000 members, 7,500 members. We've got a lot of active crafters sharing we've got challenges here's our challenge you'll find our challenges under the featured section and then you can just add in your comments your um, projects we just ask that you make them with Stampin' Up! supplies you don't link away from the craft social um, yeah we want to see you there we go so this is our our challenge this week and when you um, share here, just put it in the comments. Don't link away. Don't promote yourself, other demonstrators or crafting companies. And we start a challenge on Thursday usually and end it on Tuesday. You can go back and play the challenges anytime you want to. All right, so that's our craft social and we'd love to see you join there. And now let's go ahead and, and get stampin'. Let me turn that one off and now we're back to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Nancy, Nancy says, tell your friends, let's shoot for 10,000 members. <laughs> I love that. Yes. And if you have crafty friends, invite them to join us. We do. We really have a good time, don't we, Nancy? Hey, Deepa, happy Friday. <laughs> Verna says, I want to go in that group. Verna, you'd be more than welcome. We do have so much fun. All right. Thank you for sharing, Dolores. Hey, Kathy. 
I'm glad you're here. All right, so let's take a look really quick. Let's just see if we got some comments starting to pop over on YouTube. We do. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you're here on both platforms. You make me smile, friend. Thank you. All right, so let's get started with some stamping. I'm gonna get some ink. I've got pecan pie, and I have summer splash. Summer splash is a new in color. It's available in starter kits. If you've ever thought of joining Stampin' Up, you can get all the new in color things in your starter kit. They're on pre-order right now. So when demonstrators get a pre-order, customers can add those pre-order items to their starter kit. So it's a pretty, pretty cool time to join Stampin' Up. You can get a little bit ahead of the, the curve there if you're interested. Um, we would love to have you join our team. Our kitchenettes are very awesome. All right, we're gonna stamp pecan pie, just the popcorn, and then we're gonna clean that off and we're gonna stamp the bucket with Summer Splash. All right, nice and clean. Hey Brenda, how are you? <laughs> All right, this little guy, we don't need the popcorn, so we can stamp that guy. I'm just using a scrap of basic white. These little paper piece things are awesome for using up scraps. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, there. Now, let me grab my greeting this is sprinkled with love and it is from bright skies love the font with these images from carnival treats that's where we got our popcorn bucket and we're going to mask this so that it says with love i love the sprinkled with love with the donuts but we need something a little bit smaller for the canvas that we're working on. We're making this pencil sleeve. It'll be a bonus challenge in the craft social. I wanna see your pencil sleeves and I wanna know what else you find that fits in this little sleeve for gift giving. So if you got that, share that. All right, so we're masking off sprinkled and we've got just with love exposed to the ink pad. Sprinkled is going to just whisk away and we'll stamp with love on a white scrap. And there's our greeting. That's all our stamping. These will go really, really fast. If you wanted to make these little treats for, for gifts and multiples, it goes really quick. All right, now let me assemble my little popcorn. We gotta take these two pieces and make them one multicolor bucket of popcorn. I'm gonna just cut around my popcorns over here. Uh-oh, Nancy says having issues with Facebook today. I'd like to say that that's uncommon. I usually do have more streaming issues uh, with YouTube, it's very hard for me to keep up on YouTube because it kind of glitches out during the live for me. But technology is not my best friend, Nancy. Could be user error when I have trouble with Facebook. All right, so we got our pecan pie popcorn, and then we're gonna cut out the bucket. And this one, you wanna cut off all that blue popcorn. So just right along the top scallop here, just wiggle, but make sure you remove, there's one spot where it's really close right here, remove all that blue popcorn. Then just down the side and across the bottom, up the other side. Really easy fussy cutting for this one. I think this one is very easy fussy cutting and you get pretty big results, it's really cute. All right, we need some liquid glue. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't been gluing yet this morning. I've only been stamping, so let's see if my glue is going to cooperate. And Oh, 
that was perfect. I couldn't ask for better. Today is my lucky day. Usually by this time of day, I've been making things and gluing things and I got the, the glue bottle going, but today I was stamping for my thank you cards and thought about it after. I was like, oh, don't know if that glue's ready to go. There we go. Sometimes even when the glue's ready to go, I'm picking clob clobbers out of it. It's my favorite glue that I love to hate. <laughs> All right, with love is going to get turned into a circle tag and I'm going to use my stylus shapes. I've got this little one and a quarter inch die and it's gonna leave that pierced detail, which I really love. But if you wanna make a lot of these quick, grab your one and a quarter inch circle punch and punch out your greeting. Make a little circle tag without the, the detail. It's okay because it goes so much faster. You can make a lot. All right, let me get my Stephen Cut and Emboss machine here and cut this guy out. <laughs> Pernolan says, ha user error, me too. I called the eight-year-old next door for tech help. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so um, my assistant, Elena, you guys might um, know her from Craft Social. She's a... She's one of the moderators there or from, you know, just whatever she helps with. Sometimes she answers emails and things like that. So you guys might kind of kind of know Elena. But um, I, I was in a friend's uh, Tupperware party. I was done and was, didn't want to get the notifications anymore because I was done, right? Like I enjoyed it. I placed my order. I was done. But I couldn't figure out how to get out. It was so bad. I couldn't figure out how to get out. And so I was getting notifications and I muted them. But it, then I was really done because it was muted, but it would still come up on the top of my messenger. So I was like, okay, I want to get out of this now and I can't figure it out. So I, finally I go to Elena. I'm like, Elena, help me. And my auntie is here and I'm like, see, now I'm officially old because I have to go find somebody younger to help me with my technology problems. I don't know, it was just so funny. So then I had to ask Elena, how old are you anyways? Because I couldn't remember. She's been working with me for almost two years now. I just kind of lost track of time, right? <laughs> but she's, yeah, she's 30 and 30, gonna be 32. And uh, and yeah, I needed to go find somebody, I needed to go find somebody younger than me to help me <laughs> get out of the, get out of the um, messenger because I was finding it distracting. Oh, so funny. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let me find my linen thread here. Oh, I guess I can wait on linen thread. Let's move on to our pencil sleeve here. You guys, this is so fast and easy. We're going to be done in minutes now. We've got our popcorn bucket. We've made our little tag. That was a 1 8 inch circle punch. Yeah, definitely not. It's definitely user error more often than not when it comes to technology. <laughs> Nancy says she's just a baby. Uh, it is. It is so. It is so true. But it. It's. She's got such a different um, perspective on technology than I do. I'm always going to her for this or that and saying, I know I should know how to do this, and I do try. I still try and then she's really good because when I ask her how to do something for me she does it but then she tells me how to do it so that I will you know keep keep changing with the times keep keep learning but man I don't like technology I like stamping how about you guys <laughs> all right we're gonna do basic beige for our base again and I've got a little piece of Continuing from last Friday, Sahara Sand. Jackie brought me a little piece of Sahara Sand because I couldn't find one for my color comparison to show you guys the difference. So the new basic beige compared to Sahara Sand, which you might be familiar with. This was retired last annual catalog with the color refresh. So it's definitely lighter, but the color is very similar. Um, so this is our template it's five and a half by two and five eighths got it on the two and five eighths inch side and we're going to score at three eighths and one and a half that's it super simple <laughs> use it or lose it right that's it when she when she tells me okay this is how you do it uh, i try to 
make note and then do it myself from now on because yeah, use it or lose it is right. Okay, um, let me get my bone folder. I'm having a hard time with this um, today because you guys were almost done. We're gonna put some designer series paper on. We're gonna wrap it with some ribbon. We're gonna put this stuff on with some dimensionals and that's, that's the end of this project. It's a really short one. I guess that's okay. Um, I'm still getting uh, I'm still getting over this this whatever hit me with an earache not Monday but last Monday and then Sunday I had a fever it broke by Monday though and I was, I was still not feeling good Monday it's I don't know I, it's not bad whatever it is but I'm tired so you know it'll be a nice quick video today and then we're all off for our weekend anybody got big weekend plans I'm going to um, clean up the big mess that I made in my room trying to find clothes for Mexico and so and maybe try to get some some rest maybe do a little stamping I should be getting an order today with some pre-order things um, I have information for you guys very very soon I just have to type it it's all figured out for a new paper sampler going to do a little bit different for our paper sampler this time around but there will be an annual catalog paper sampler and that's all figured out and we are going to go ahead with the in color club i'm just working out the last little details um, on the in color club so i'll have information for you guys on all of that pretty soon so just finalizing that and typing it up is probably uh, my big plans for the weekend how about you guys um, Nancy says, it's a virus going around, knocked me down going on a week now. See, and I know that it's going around and that other people are struggling too. Um, but it's a weird one because like I said, it started in my ear. I didn't think too much of it. I'm toggling my designer series papers. These are one by one and I'm just going to glue them. I put a strip down the, down the center, but I'm also going to put a little bit like kind of top and bottom on these squares one inch squares and I'm just gonna put them right across the front here while we chit chat um, yeah I didn't I don't know what it was two viruses because it came kind of back and hit me with something else so maybe I got two somethings I don't know you guys it was just I'm tired that's what I'll say about it I'm working at um, kind of I don't know, at slow capacity. Brenda says, my craft room needs to be clean up, deep clean. Ooh, sometimes that's kind of fun. Sometimes that's overwhelming. Good luck. That... Brenda Lynn says, oh, my 30-ish, I have furniture older than her. Right? Oh, man, me too. <laughs> Oh, goodness. That's the truth. But uh, I don't know what I'd do without her, you guys. I really don't. I'm, she just, she's always, she's always pulling my butt out of the fire, especially when it has anything to do with social media, technology. She's just, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. This is the um, new 6x6 in color designer series paper. I'm going to do a free make and take packet for these five projects. The ones that I showed you at the beginning, I'll bring them out again. It's, and it's just going to go automatically to anybody who goes to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net and places an order of $150 or more. Stampin' Up! will give you the um, Carnival Treat stamp set with your host rewards if you redeem that. And I will give you a class packet to make these five projects. But in that class packet will also be a sampler of some of the new in color products. So you can see I chose the dots and the stripes because with the carnival treats, I thought that those were uh, most appropriate. I thought they were fun and whimsical like the stamps, but the other side of the paper is either this kind of Hawaiian flower look. I think this one looks like a Hawaiian shirt. And then this one, which is kind of a, a tiled or a Venetian or a um, honestly, it's got kind of a, what's that one that goes, um, Harlequin maybe? Um, I don't know, but that's the other side. So stripes and then dots. 
And so I will send you 10 pieces of this designer series paper with your packet so that you'll have uh, one of each uh, in each of the colors. You'll have a, a stripe and a dot of each color. It's pretty neat this time. And these will be available in May in colors, in last year's in colors, and then in all the core colors. So these are the new six by six designer series paper patterns. I love this. I love this year's patterns better than last year's patterns. Just, just saying, I'll always give you my opinion. And then I'm also gonna include two feet of each ribbon. So you'll get 10 feet of ribbon, which is a little bit more than three yards. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to get faster at this. Petunia Pop, Peach Pie, Shy Shamrock, Summer Splash, Pretty in Pink. Not too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the uh, peach on this one. If you might've noticed that I did different colors on each of the projects so far. Like every time I did it, I changed up the ribbon. But this time I'm going to use the same peach pie ribbon because when we put the popcorn bucket on, it's gonna cover that peach pie uh, square it's gonna mostly cover that peach pie square you see it from the side or from the bottom underneath it a little bit but so this gives peach pie its seat at the table if we use the peach pie ribbon so I'm gonna just loop this around and tie it off to the side I love that Stampin' Up! went with 6x6 instead of the old 12x12 12 12 size I do love the 6x6 six six for these these are kind of um, uh, easy six by six is just uh i don't know it's a i don't know it's it's a it's a good place to start size a lot of times with those 12 by 12 ones i'd be cutting them down anyways to to six by six or cutting them into such small pieces sorry i got a twist in here There's a twist in my ribbon this is an easy short project anyway so i'm going to retie um i would end up cutting them down so small anyways so i do like the six by six designer series papers and the patterns this time i love that the one side is kind of whimsical with the dots and the stripes and the other side's a little bit more floral a little bit more elegant um there's like a whimsy and sophistication in this this year's patterns and i love that all right there's our little bow you get it you get a choice of like the more whimsical or the more sophisticated patterns which gives you just more variety of use you know all right, there's that. And then now I'll get my linen thread and I'm going to thread this guy from the front to the back and then slide it right underneath. <gasps> no way. Brenda, I have to go back and return a bathing suit top there on Saturday. I am so going to look. Did you see, guys, Brenda says um, chocolate donut Kit Kats are on clearance at Sam's. Oh, that is an awesome tip. Okay, so maybe there's gonna have to be a Carnival Treats Kit Kat box project coming because that is just too cool not to, oh my gosh. I've got the bathing suit top that needs to go back. I think it's gonna get exchanged for chocolate donut Kit Kats. <laughs> All right, let me snip that away. You guys, I just tied that right on to the ribbon. Throw it under, or tie it on. Oh, what a good tip. All right, let me see. How's, how's, my, how's my YouTube going over here? Hey, Margaret, I'm glad you're here. It's good to see you again. All right, Carol says so cute. Thank you. You guys are just so awesome. Thank you for spending some time with me today. It's such a fast project. We're almost done already, but I'm gonna add a picture of these guys to the Craft Social. I'm gonna pin it to the top, and then I wanna see your um, sleeve treats. Pencil sleeves, nail, po nail file sleeves, pen sleeves. I've, like I said, I've done honey sticks, and if you've got other things that fit, other treats that you find that fit, we wanna know. And so we'll have a second challenge this week all right little dimensional on the back of the heart if you're not familiar with the craft social we usually have a challenge every thursday 
one week I do a video and I say, hey, make what I just made and share. And then the other week I usually post a game of some sort. So we'll have a tic-tac-toe or a color cha inspiration challenge. We do inspiration kitchen where I post a kitchen. Um, we do three ingredient challenge. We do um, parts and pieces is my favorite. I need to do that one more often. So uh, there's a different game. So one Thursday we have a game, one Thursday we have a video, and then I say, hey, you, now you give it a try. So um, every Thursday there's a chance for, for prizes. All right, I'm going to pull this ribbon down just a little bit because it's covering my shy shamrock. The popcorn bucket is covering my shy shamrock entirely. I'm going to just pop that on with some dimensionals right next to the bow. And there, my friends, is our treat. It was that easy. How fast was that? All right, let me show you. I will do a picture on the craft social, and I want to see your sleeves, and I want to know what kind of treats you find to put in them. That's it, you guys. That was our Friday. I know it was so fast. <laughs> Oh, is this a low peeps? I know it's a great project, but let's give her some love. Yes, your comments, your shares, all the things that you guys do to interact with the video on YouTube, that tells YouTube that it's engaging content and it shows the con and then YouTube shows the content to other people that might like it. So when you do those things, um, it really does make a difference. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. Um, if you've got any questions about my offer, my, my um, free make and take class packet offer, just reach out Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and to shop, you can head over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. These are the five projects that will be included in that make and take packet if you're interested. And all you have to do is go place your order and we will send you the kit to make these and the treats too while I supplies last in my treats. Uh, I'll send you the donut erasers, the pencil, and the cotton candy bubble gum. All right, that's it, you guys. I can't believe it. It goes so fast. Uh, Nancy tells Brenda, thanks for sharing. You're the best, right? $24, or I mean 24 pieces of the donut, uh, chocolate donut Kit Kats for $17.91. That's a great price. That's at the Green Bay, Wisconsin Club. I'll let you guys know if I find them on mine and we'll make, we'll make a box for it using um, carnival treats. It'll be really cute. Um, Nancy says that she also found the chocolate donut Kit Kats at the Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for those, I've seen them at Walmart. So if anybody's looking for them. All right, you guys, that was it. That was so fast. <laughs> All right. I hope that you guys will take me up on my challenge, give this, this uh, project a try. There's all kinds of fun ways that you, can, that you can give cute little gifts and you saw how fast it was to make. I, that's chatting. If you, put your, if you put your head down and craft it, you can make a bunch of them really fast. So it makes a good, a good gift for everyone, all the teachers, everyone at the office, um, a, a good party favor or shower favor, good, good little gift. All right, that's it. I'm out of here, you guys. I will see you next week, Friday, and we'll do You Brighten My Days. Look out very soon for all the information about In Color Club and about Paper Sampler. We just have to get those details typed up for you guys. So, all right, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, guys.